Hello, everyone. We are Jimmy and Kimmy, Seoul Energy Guardian Angels. <laughs> Seoul's energy policy, one less nuclear power plant. By now, you are quite familiar with it, aren't you? In April 2012, Seoul announced its goal of cutting 2 million TOE of energy, roughly the capacity of one nuclear power plant, by the end of 2014. Surprisingly, Seoul achieved the goal six months ahead of time. Yahoo! We are Seoul styled! Now Seoul is launching the second phase of one less nuclear power plant to make Seoul's energy sustainable. <laughs> Follow us! Do you remember the day that shocked us all? Since the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011, people worldwide increasingly have turned to safe and a clean energy. People in Seoul experienced the first hand an energy crisis when a massive power outage hit Seoul in September of the year. So in 2012, Seoul launched the One Less Nuclear Power Plant initiative after its long and hard thought about how to leave a safe energy environment to its future generations. Progress made during the first phase was even. Some 3,700 photovoltaic power systems, over 20,000 Energy Guardian Angel Corps, the number of the Eco Mileage members has quadrupled over the past two years to around 1.8 million. Seoul citizens took the lead in energy saving and production. As a result, Seoul's consumption of electricity, gas, and oil decreased, while the nationwide energy consumption increased. United Nations and Worldwide Fund for Nature have praised Seoul's such progress. Wow! It's amazing, Kimmy! Then does this mean no more blackouts? We can't rest assured yet, Jimmy. That's right. During the first phase, we learned we still need some institutional changes. And energy inequality was quite severe in our society. So we thought this time about how to make our energy policy sustainable. We decided to make a fundamental change beyond achieving one target after another to eventually change our lifestyle. Then I think we need a name for the phase two. Any ideas? What about we call it Seoul Sustainable Energy Action Plan? We can help Seoul's energy policy and even sustain the city itself. It sounds great. Let's shout it out. Sustainable Energy Action Plan Seoul! What are the goals of Seoul Sustainable Energy Action Plan? They are increasing electricity self-reliance rate to 20%, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 10 million tons by 2020. Seoul officials sat down with experts and its citizens for about six months to set four specific goals for Seoul's Sustainable Energy Action Plan. <laughs> Seoul is going to expand decentralized energy production throughout the city. As efficient use of energy is a way to produce energy, Seoul will establish a low-energy consuming society with increased introduction of LED lightings and improved energy efficiency of buildings. Innovation will spur green enterprises and job creation. People will voluntarily donate their saved energy to the energy poor to vitalize the local energy community and improve the general energy welfare. What do you think? Can you see Seoul's endeavor for fundamental change? Let us introduce the 10 key projects of Seoul Sustainable Energy Action Plan. Yay! <laughs> Aren't you curious what our life will be like? If we achieve a 20% electricity self-reliance rate by 2020, citizens will become an energy producer from an energy consumer. Energy production and efficient use of energy, as well as energy saving, will be the daily routine. Someone in your family will get a green job in the energy sector. A virtuous cycle where saved energy is donated will also be created. Seoul will become a healthy city, safe from a massive blackout. Don't you want to live in Seoul? What Seoul needs most in building an energy self-reliant city is civic consensus and participation because Seoul is yours. Now it's time for a real challenge. Please join us in meeting the challenge of building an energy self-reliant city, Seoul. 